With all the work that goes into your API program, from strategy through operations, the last thing you want to do is create confusion for developers by making your API versioning confusing or difficult to understand. Consistency will be critical to creating a lasting relationship with developers that want to use your APIs. API versioning should be a key ingredient in your governance of your API program. So when should versioning happen? Well, to start, versioning should not happen too often, as this can be very impactful and may require developers to update their code. In many instances, implementing a new API version without thoughtful analysis and testing will result in broken software, and broken software can negatively impact the image of our developers and our company. Also, a new API version should be implemented when new required fields are introduced into the payload. Developers need to change their software and potentially collect new information or ensure previously optional data is now required. And a final example, previous data has been removed. This may be either in the call, where some parameters are no longer valid to pass into the API, or data was returned is no longer there. These may cause software problems that require the developer's attention. So creating and having a clear set of parameters to know when a new version is required or not required will be an important decision for your organization. Let's talk about how companies consider options for API version naming. We'll show three examples, but there is not one right answer. If you explore companies that publicly post their APIs for consumption, you'll quickly see there may be a preference towards a version naming practice, but it is not consistent from one company to the next. Therefore, your company needs to figure this out from the start and then stick to it. Consistency is critical. You'll hear this repeated several times in this video. In this example, the URI includes a date to distinguish the different API versions. New software or new developers would opt to then select the API with the most current date. This also gives them visibility into how often versions are released by looking back at older versions of the API. This isn't a guarantee, though, as companies would eventually deprecate older versions from the API portal, and you would not have visibility into these. Our second example shows how you can set the version number into the customer header. This is convenient, but it is not easy to explore with common tools. And our third example shows how the version indicator is placed into the URI. This makes it very clear for developers to know which version is the latest as the path needs to be compatible to process correctly. With each of these examples, there are pros and cons. Consider each carefully while deciding what your company will do for versioning. Of course, there will be disagreements and someone needs to be empowered to make a final decision. Still having issues deciding? Well, we would recommend going with option three for embedding the version into the URI path. Please note that there are even disagreements within Apogee about API versioning. Each engineer has a preference and may make a different recommendation. We see this option, though, as something that is simple, unambiguous, and intuitive, meaning it is easily understandable, can be passed into testing tools, and when a change happens, the URI changes, so you can see the domain is updated in its resource model. So now let's turn our attention next to a critical piece in this whole process, communication. How do you ensure your developers are aware of new versions and ensure we have a transition period for developers to move versions? Creating a new API version with immediate requirement for all developers to use the new version will be a recipe for disaster. Unless, of course, your developer community is all internal developers or limited trusted partners that know this is how your company releases versions. So in most instances, you want to have a transition and your older versions will remain active and in use for a period of time. But how much time? Typically, the rule of thumb is anywhere from 6 to 12 months. During this time, you'll still need to maintain these older versions for things like security patches or bugs that may arise. You may also have one key developer that requests a change and isn't in an immediate position to make a version update. Here are some things you need to consider in setting the deprecation date. How long has your API been available? How many developers are using your APIs? What is the traffic volumes of your API? All these and more are critical to analyze and make a decision on how long to maintain an older version. And it wouldn't be right for us not to end the video with one more mention of being consistent. 
Remember that the best API has high use across developers in many ways not previously thought. This means your company needs to set the versioning standard, not each department within your company. This consistency will make it easier for developers to consume and maintain their software using your company APIs. For more information on this topic, refer to our documentation. And if you have any questions, please post them on our community. Thank you.